Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are opening this Warhammer 40,000 Command Edition Starter Set. Start here on the top. Starter Set down there, Command Edition. Necrons versus Space Marines. And yeah, me and a guy I work with have been talking about trying to get into Warhammer for a while. And I decided to just buy this and we can just try it out I guess. But, yeah, here's this side with the Necron and the Space Marine guy. Yeah, the same wording. We have Necron on this side. Same thing as the other side here. And then the Space Marine on this side. And check out the back here. You can see everything that comes in here, kinda. But we have some of the Necron models there, some of the Space Marines. Uh, you can see everything here on the back. Comes with the terrain, the board. These are unassembled and unpainted. Gonna have to do that. Easy to build, put push bit. No glue needed. Tools required to cut them from the sprues. Bring this up. You can see everything that's contained in this box right there, which models are in this, as well as the rules and stuff that are here. Um, let me pull the camera up for a second and you can kind of pause and read this if you want to, but it'll go into focus there. Yeah, there is that. And this comes with everything you need to play this. But let me get it open. We can start pulling stuff out and see what all's in here. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. It's a really big box. I pulled the top off here. But that is, you can see everything inside. And now we have all these big chunks of plastic that will kind of look over the sprues and see what stuff kind of looks like. This looks like some of the terrain pieces. Let's see the front of this one. Um, they're probably... I assume they'd be numbered yeah, down here. Maybe it says C10, C5. Yeah, all the different pieces are numbered to follow the uh, instructions to build, I guess. But there is that one grab this next one here there's a lot of pipes in this set so here's a lot of that stuff and then looks like we're getting into some of the actual models here we'll look at the back of this one a little we have looks like all the um, bike riding guys I can't remember the names of everything uh, this would be the outriders I guess the three outriders that come in the box um, it's been a little while since I looked at this. I kind of just decided last minute the other day to go ahead and buy it. Um, but here is some of the Necron models. And it looks like the, um, uh, the Primaris Captain right there. At least part of him. It's probably all of him. Pull out another one here. Looks like this one's got a lot of arms on it. <laughs> And some jetpacks and legs and different things like that. But it looks like all Space Marine parts. Okay, grab another one here. It's a Necron Sprue. You can see a lot of their weapons and pieces and whatnot on here. Well, I guess we can flip that over if you want to see the back of it. There is that. Here's a bigger one here. A lot of Necron weapons and bodies and stuff. This one's all, there's the Scarab Swarms down here and there and a lot of their weapons and arms and legs and bodies and a lot of, a lot of the pieces to build the Necrons. So probably the, uh, the 10 Necron Warriors on that sprue. Uh, looks like we have more of the terrain here. Looks like the walls that come with this fairly heavy chunk of plastic. Okay, and then this is the last sprue that's in there this more of the wall pieces and then next up it looks like we have just a big piece of poster board that says Warhammer 40k but it's kind of damaged from the being in between the uh, sprues and the rest of the stuff I'm guessing they put it in there just for that to kind of uh, protect like the rule books and stuff as like a divider we got a bag of faces, different sizes, for the miniatures to set on. 
as well as there's more bases in here. We have these three oval shaped ones, all the same um, for the Outriders or whatever. I'm, I'm guessing, yeah. But Games Workshop Limited 2020 on the back there. And these are a 2012 base. Ooh. <laughs> so that's some, a couple more bases. And then we have the set of D6 dice. They're a little smaller, so these are probably 12 millimeter dice. So I'll probably replace these with better ones. I have a lot of, a lot of D6 in multiple different colors. But there is another base in there. Next up, looks like we have our manuals and stuff. We'll check out in just a second. Have the game board. We'll get the rest of the stuff out of the box and then check that stuff out. We got the sticker transfer sheets for the different symbols and stuff to put on. So, whatever faction, I guess. And this is blank on the back. And we got our plastic rulers. There's two of those. And they're clear plastic. So you can see underneath them when you put them down to see like your measurements and stuff. Comes with two of those. If I can get it out of here, looks like we have uh, an advertisement for a book with a little art print on the back. Might go ahead and put that in a frame and hang it up actually. It's kind of a nice looking little space marine art. And I guess there's just a piece of like wax paper in the bottom for some reason, but that's everything that's inside of the box. So let's check out this board really quick, I guess. But you can pretty much see it already through here. I don't think it's double-sided. I'm gonna have to cut it a little to get it open. So hopefully I can get it open without tearing it up. Knowing my luck, I'll accidentally cut the board and then it won't unfold but man, come on <laughs> well it really does not want to come open if you've watched the channel before you know me, about me and my struggles with taking plastic off of games and stuff but, wow it really 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 doesn't want to come off there we go finally I'm gonna get it unwrapped here Okay, we can unfold this board maybe. So it is double-sided. It's probably about as much as I'll unfold it, but you have this kind of gray ruined side and then kind of this deserty side on that side. Um, there are, I guess, you see there are spots for your objectives, I'm guessing. We'll set that out of the way. We'll check out these books and call it good we have the rule book it's fairly thick just kind of flip through it probably when there's indominus and a little bit of story I'm gonna read that you can pause the different phases a lot of art it looks like in here battle forged actions open play some scenarios I guess some art there rules term glossary Appendix, the different missions, yeah. So it is, and it's got art here in the back. It's just really nice looking. Several pages of that. But including this, it's 179 pages right there. So let's set that over there. And then looks like we have our command manual. Get that where y'all can see that there and read it. I know this video is kind of going long, but we have contents, different thing. Talks about hobbies, building, different things like that. Yeah, some different factions. It's talking about Angels of Death, Silent Kingdom, and shows you how to build the different models that come in this. But turns and phases, different things. We've got some like data sheets for some of the models. But about 81 pages in that one. And then lastly, looks like we have some data sheets 
for the units that come in here. Check those out. The Assault Intercessor Squad and Primaris Captain and then the Outrider Squad. And in for the Necrons, we have the Overlord and the Scorpex Destroyers and Necron Warriors at the top and the Cantopec or Canotic, Canoptic Scarab Swarms, if I can talk today. But I guess that is everything that comes in this giant box. Like I said, this is the Command Edition. Uh, includes all this, all the stuff. But yeah, so if you liked what you've seen, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, ring the bell to keep up to date with my latest videos. And as always, have a great day.